I'm gonna get blocked, dude, because none of these people are gonna save the intersection. I'm literally not gonna be able to go straight here. God dang it. What is up guys, Dave back again for another trucking vlog and we are in New Mexico right now headed down to El Paso. We're actually going to our El Paso drop yard. I don't know, I've been there one time, it was in the middle of the night, pretty sure I did a video for y'all. I don't know, if y'all remember me going to the El Paso yard, you tell me in the comments because I honestly don't remember if I filmed it. I know I went there and I'm pretty sure I filmed it because I was driving along the, the border fence because in order to get here, you gotta drive like along a road that goes along the border fence, at least the way that I went before. Um, and so I'm pretty sure I filmed it and I was commentating about how that's Mexico, like right over there, you know? Man, it looks gloomy and ominous up here. Look, man, I'm nervous. We're, man, I wanted to show y'all some sights around El Paso. We're gonna end up hitting this crap. It's just gonna be a dang thunderstorm. I don't do many videos where it's freaking storming. Y'all ever notice that? I don't avoid doing videos when it's storming. You might be thinking, well, why not, Dave? We want to see you driving in all sorts of stuff, including thunderstorms, Dave. I don't know. Most of the time, it just ain't storming when I'm filming, I guess. I guess I'm pretty lucky with that, but it looks like we're going to catch some. I don't know. We're taking an exit in four and a half miles. Rumble strips ahead because we got a light. I've already been on the Jakes. I saw it. <laughs> Just trying to let the Jakes do most of the work here rather than the foot pedal. There's a random Creed over there in that subdivision area. <laughs> he must be on home time or something. Look. Or is that a ramp? No, because if it was a ramp, he'd be going the wrong way. <laughs> must be home time, I guess. Yeah. Pretty much just getting right into El Paso, I guess. So it's like the very outskirt subdivision right there. That's where I'd want to live, away from all the hustle and bustle a little bit up here. Although them houses are mighty close, man, mighty close. Yeah, we definitely about to hit this rain, man. There ain't no way it's not raining up here. I mean, I don't see it yet, but... <laughs> I don't think I've ever come into El Paso from this way. It's pretty interesting how you can just kind of see the whole like freaking city right there. Keep and that way too. Mile. Keep right on Gateway Boulevard South. All right, we got to take this Keep right. Keep right to Gateway Boulevard South. No, we're not taking a right. No, no, we're not going into there. No, oh God bless. Did that right lane open up? It did, didn't it? I'll go ahead and hop over there. I mean, shoot. Yeah, I won't let people still have to get through. Go ahead and hop on over here. Yeah, it just mean it just meant keep right. And a half miles. Take the exit on the left to mm -hmm. US 54 West. Yeah, I knew better. I knew I wouldn't take it right. It was telling me to keep right, but you know. I knew I wasn't doing that. Yeah, that's a part of El Paso I've never really been through. I'm always just down there on the freaking interstate every time I come through here. El Paso. <laughs> the only things I ever used to see of El Paso was, what was it, was it cops? Or was it live PD? It was one or the other and they had like a El Paso, you know, like segment all the time. It was either cops or live P PD, I don't know. I didn't watch either one of them religiously or anything to remember. I just remember always seeing like the El Paso police stuff on TV. Hopefully it's both of these lanes. If not, I'm gonna have to fight my way over. Guess we'll see, man. Cause it's just a keep left. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen up the highway. We'll just have to read signs. Jesus. In three quarters of a mile, take the exit on the left. Okay. To US 54 West. It is the third lane per my GPS, so we will go ahead and stay over here. Clogging it up, you clogging it up in the left lane. <laughs> oh God. Hey, it's a foam tower that's uh, disguised as a palm tree. <laughs> Y'all ever noticed that before? Y'all ever notice those funky looking palm trees that you see in a lot of cities? It's, it's, a, it's a cell tower. 
I don't know, maybe it won't rain, man. It looks like it's raining over there, though. And we're about to hit this exit, so, yeah. Look at that wind, too. It's windy out here. It was windy pretty much all night when it was raining for me. Oh, man, I'm getting tired, though, dude. It's freaking... Take the exit on the oh, left. Oh, I don't want to hit those straps. US 54 West. I don't want a strap going through my tire. So what's going on here? What in the heck is he doing? That pickup truck's just stopped in the right lane. Just, like, stopped. I mean, the lane kept going. <laughs> he didn't have to, like, stop. He what? There's... He's still there. I... I don't know. I don't know what was happening there, boys. <sighs> he was causing a cluster, though, that's for sure. Okay, so the highway's closed behind me there, so there's really nothing to worry about merging. And I've had to pedal down. I'm just heavy, man. All right, so in 10 miles, we're gonna take US 54, where we're gonna keep left on US 54, because that's what we're on, toward Juarez, Mexico. We just gotta make sure we don't accidentally cross the border, guys. Gotta make sure we don't just take a wrong turn. It's like, bloop, in Mexico. <laughs> hey, that's where this load's going, though. It's going to Chihuahua. This load is going to Chihuahua, Mexico. So I just, come on, see if I go ahead and take it down there for y'all, man. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> don't imagine Dave trucking through Mexico, dude. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh, but it does. Because I just know how epic that would be. <laughs> uh, everything's in Spanish, dude. I can't read the signs. I'm just like, what do I do? I don't know if that's how it is or not. I'd imagine that's how it is. Hey, maybe we will dodge the rain, man. Maybe we will dodge it. It definitely looks like it's raining over there. You can tell, like, that haziness of the rain, you know? But if it's over there, I might dodge it. I mean, it's completely dry road right here, pretty much, so I think we'll be all right, man. I think we'll be all right. You know what's funny is my GPS is saying 7.1 miles, keep left on US 54. And then Google Maps is saying, US 54 West, seven miles, keep right. <laughs> so it's like, huh? <laughs> I guess I'll take the middle lane. I guess I'll clog it up, guys. I'll clog it up in the middle lane. There's another sign that said, uh, drive now, drive, drive now, text or talk later. Which, honestly, nowadays, it's that, like back in the day, it was texting, you know? It was like, don't text and drive. Nowadays, it's just people just scrolling social media, dude. Like, everybody's just so addicted to social media that it's like, that's all it is. Really just holding your phone in your hand, scrolling whatever the heck they're scrolling. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or texting too. But it definitely ain't just texting no more or talking or whatever the case may be. It's just scrolling stuff, man. It's like society's so addicted to social media it's like we can't even go drive our cars you know 20 minutes down the road without having to look at it it's pretty crazy it's pretty crazy and i do feel like it's definitely an addiction i think if a lot of people like tried to just put their phone down or not like not use social media or use their phone for like you know besides calling or whatever but just like not use it for anything else for like a week or something. I think people would struggle, man. I think people would start going through withdrawals of looking at their phone. I've seen it. I've been places with people that like either forgot their phone in the car or something and like they'll go to grab it or look for it and be like, oh yeah, I left it in the car. And then literally five minutes later, they're going to do it again. And it's like, yep, <laughs> yep, you're addicted. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. All right, boys, we gotta be careful make sure we don't cross into Mexico here, like I said. <laughs> I'll make sure we like to take a wrong turn. Because <laughs> we're gonna be right on the border. See, 54 West, Juarez, Mexico is what it says. That's the way we gotta take. Oh, now Google Maps says keep left. That's strange. Okay, all right, well. Now that we're on the same page, electronics, let's keep left. I've done a few videos coming through here for y'all. I remember one, I was talking about tacos. I talk about tacos a lot, but I was definitely talking about tacos in the one El Paso video that I did. 
pretty sure I've been to here a couple other times vlogging as well. I do remember the last time I came here, I was a little confused though because there are some, I've only been here once and it was in the middle of the night, but I remember there was signs that confused me. Uh, I think I'm going to hop over one more because it looks like both of those are an exit only up there. Yeah, they are. Okay, good. That's why I'm here, man. But there were some signs that really confused me because it, it looked like I was going to go into Mexico. It's kind of like when I've shown y'all before when I go down to Laredo and I go to that one, there's like that one drop yard we have in Calexico and it's kind of confusing because you have to actually take like the car toward Mexico like exit to get there and it's very confusing. So yeah. So right was East 10, but we got to keep left here on US 54. So we're going to keep left. I mean, obviously you can't just drive into Mexico. You know what I mean? Like, I know guys, I'm joking. Like, I'm not just literal. Like, I'm just going to boom. Okay, I'm in Mexico. You know, I do know that. But I don't want to pull up to the freaking border and be like, man, can I turn around right up there? You know what I mean? I took a wrong turn, bro. <laughs> Let me go ahead and turn this semi around. I don't even know how that works. <laughs> Probably get inspected and searched and everything else. <laughs> and this isn't what confused me. It's when we get off the highway. I'll show y'all. Y'all see what I mean. They confused me that night I was here. Okay, US 54. This is the way we take for sure. Ah, there it is. Port of entry, Juarez, Mexico. So if you would have taken that exit and kept right, that's when you're going to Mexico literally gotta take you in there this is gonna take me I remember this bridge here yep I remember this 100% oh it's a lot nicer during the day though it's nighttime so much nicer I love the colors man it's pretty cool so that's Mexico over there right pretty sure all right, does this lane end? Either, either no. of the two left lanes. Either of the two, look, that's going into Mexico. Jeez. Yeah, that would've been bad if I did. Dude, I, <laughs> could you imagine if I accidentally took that or something and I'm just sitting there in this huge traffic jam, like free, oh my God, dude, that would be terrible. Just knowing that I took the wrong turn, I can't turn around. I have to go all the way up to the border thing and then deal with whatever comes with that. <laughs> oh, that would be terrible. Uh, lane ends merge left. Okay, so we're going down to one lane here. What were they merging into? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, there's the fence right there, boys. That's Mexico, literally, right across the thing. That's Mexico. That big uh, monument there. I don't know what it is, but I remember when I came through here at night, I was like, what is that? It was all lit up at night and stuff. I was going to get over to the right, homie, but yeah, he wasn't going to wait. Eh, well, I guess we could stay here. Yeah, there's the border fence right there. That is literally Mexico on the other side of the fence. Okay, nobody's coming. We're good. And there's that big monument that I think I said it was like an alien artifact or something at nighttime when it was all glowing. It looked crazy. I was like, what is that? I still don't know what it is. I just know it's some type of monument. I think I looked it up before. I think I did. Oh, that border patrol right, that border patrol right there. He's watching. Yep, 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 yep. The only, the only time I was closer to the border than this was when I was in Arizona and thought I had planned out the route properly to get to my delivery. And ended up along the border fence, literally like right next to it, dude. <laughs> and like the dirt right next to the border fence. I turn around, go back the way that I came. That was a funny video. That was a real funny video. All right, so 7.7 .7 miles. We're gonna take the exit 48 for Zaragoza Road. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it's kind of like I, I don't know. It's like I take an exit and then there's either like a traffic circle or like a split, right, in the road where it goes like two different ways. But I just remember it wasn't very clear like which way I was supposed to go. I don't know, we'll see, man, we'll see. I'm going off of memory like a year and a half ago, so 
it's been a long time. I was still pretty new when I came to El Paso. Like I say, I'm still new, but I was real new back then. Do y'all think that one day, like, we will ever, like, the human race will just be all, like, one and, like, united as, like, earthlings or whatever? You know what I mean? Like, do you think that would ever happen? Where it's not, like, countries and borders and, uh, wars and everything else? I know some people probably be like, nope, human nature just to war is always going to be wars, but, like... I feel like we would need like a common enemy or something like we would need aliens to like start talking trash bro like we need aliens to start beef with us before like we'd all group together and work together you know what i mean because when well, there's no freaking aliens we're just gonna fight ourselves you know we're gonna be humans versus humans but i feel like if aliens was like you know what pucker up buttercup then i feel like all the countries and all the superpowers and everybody would like work together against the common enemy but I feel like that's the only way it's ever gonna happen but like instead of like having separate economies and whatnot you know you just you're all one like you're just one you're earthlings you know you're, you're planet earth you're you're humans i mean i know there's like an international economy and all that type of crap you know and the health of the markets and trade and all that stuff i get all that but i'm just saying like you know what i mean just all just all is one basically came around that corner and there's a broke down car here i guess or just hanging out smoking them a little cigarette nothing better to do but i don't know but yeah i always wonder I've, I've actually wondered that before like i wonder how long it would take us to get to that point yeah even google maps says there it goes to slash international bridge so that's what i mean when i tell you there's like you got to be careful when you take this exit is that sign for Zaragoza? Yes, it is. Okay, so we can stay right here. All right, start slowing down, boys. Start slowing down. See, it says right there, warning illegal to carry firearms, ammunition into Mexico. Penalty, prison by Mexican law. Yeah, that's not good. So now it says Zaragoza International Bridge, trucks and autos. And you're like, huh? Like, what do I do? And I think I just go straight through this light and that's literally the border right there. That's literally the checkpoint and I have to go straight through here. In one half mile, <laughs> turn right on Joe Rodriguez Drive. Yep. This is what had me nervous before, man. When I saw that sign back there and then I came up here, I'm like, what do I do? Except it was middle of the night, so I didn't have to deal with none of this crap. I'm gonna get blocked, dude, because none of these people are gonna save the intersection. I'm literally not gonna be able to go straight here. God dang it. I can't make it through there even if I did go left. <sighs> you freaking idiots, man. I mean, I could go now. Now that Cadillac over there is going to go, so I won't. Okay. Don't go, Cadillac. Don't go. Okay, we're going to squeeze around this now. There we go. All right. Now we're gonna take a ride on Joe Rodriguez. So many people, man. That's the Zaragoza truck bridge. This whole thing is parking. Oh, huh. that's interesting. Yeah, so it wasn't a roundabout, it's just all these turns and stuff. Like, that's the same thing. That would have been the truck bridge. I guess it's closed for whatever reason. But, yeah. I love how it just says penalty prison. It's not like penalty like $1,000 or up to six months in prison. It's just like penalty prison. <laughs> Why do I feel like it wouldn't be quick? <laughs> Definitely guys, if we go into freaking Mexico, uh, not in a truck, I just mean personally. If I ever go into Mexico, make sure I do not have the freaking strap on me. <laughs> I don't want that penalty of prison. All right, guys. Now I remember this. I remember taking this right in this distribution area here. Okay. Gotta go ahead. How much room do I have? Because I got cars on my left. Which is fine. If I need extra room, I can just let them pass. And I don't. I can do this. This is not too hard. Big old pothole there on the right, though, with water in it. Well, where trucks drag their trailer through there, and we're not gonna do that. 
cleared it. Oh god, I hit a little bit of a pothole there. Mile. Turn left on Venture Drive. There we go. All right. Yep. I remember all this now. Coming through here, hitting this left, and then you turn right into the place. So that's kind of that was kind of a little sketchiness, especially when it was late at night. I couldn't like visibly see like what was ahead of me and like what's going on. I was like, dude, am I, am I going into the border right now, dude? <laughs> I was a little nervous, man. I was jacked up with all that traffic back there, though. Nobody cared to leave the intersection open. They're just like, the hell with it. I ain't waiting on this light again. Like they were gonna go any. That's the thing. Like even if they stopped before and let the light change, dude. Like. <laughs> If you get through the light, you're still going to be up there. And if you wait for the light, then you're going to go right back up to the back end of traffic anyways. Like, leave the intersection open so people can get through, man. They don't care, though. Nobody gives a crap in traffic, dude. It's every man for himself in traffic. I'll tell you that right now. All right. If I remember correctly, I thought the road teed. Maybe it doesn't. It's been a while, man. Been a while. I don't know if this is two lanes or one lane or what. I have no freaking clue. All I know is I gotta take the next left. Yeah, I see it here. Okay, it kind of ends up there, the road. There's Mexico over there, man. Woo. Turn left on Venture Drive. Ain't no stop sign. Okay, there's a stop sign over there. I don't have a stop sign. Okay, everybody else got stop signs. Cool. And there we go. There's the CFI logo right there, boys. I do know there's security guards going to check me. They checked me before. So, guy just waved. Cool. Arriving at 230 Venture Drive on the left. Yep. All right, guys. He said drop it in the first row. This is the first row here. Oh, there's plenty of spots, it looks like, from what I can see. Uh, yeah, he was just like empty or loaded. I said loaded. Oh, I see. There's a bunch of tires right there. That's why there's not, there wasn't many spots. We might have to hit a, how bad is this pothole here? No, not bad at all. We might have to spin around so we can do a side. I don't know. Can I, can I, can I, yeah, I can actually do a straight back up here, boys. I can actually do a straight back. We won't even have to, uh, turn around and do, uh, alley dock or anything there's plenty of room up there especially past these trucks i could definitely do it but yeah he was just like drop it on the first row so that's all he told me to do is drop it on this row here i was like yes sir L last time i dropped it on the back row there i swear that's what they told me to do oh yeah this is beautiful right here this is beautiful easy oh he's like i could actually pull through there man <laughs> i could have pulled through Boys, is that not a beaut? I tell you what, my turn up game's gotten a lot better since I've been out this time. Like, I was able to do pretty good turn ups before back in the day in my videos, but they've definitely gotten better. I had to fix this though, I was a little bit too much to the left. We gotta move over to the right just a hair. We're gonna go forward a little bit. Back to the left. There she is. Right smack dab in the middle, boys. I think that's where the landing gear is going to be there. Let's look. Oh, a little bit more. <laughs> Just a hair more, boys. That was close. There we go. That ought to do it. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. 
escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown.